Hello and welcome to another episode of Justin and Juby. We're going to take you through a fantastic and magical trip to the mountains of NC, right outside of Asheville, North Carolina, where you'll get to experience the beauty and the nature of the outdoors. But we're also going to take you on a grand tour of a tiny house, a shipping container. Now, to Juby, to tell you more. Uh, there's no more information than what you already told. <laughs> you should see how ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know why we always travel with so much stuff. You end up getting a child and then all of a sudden it takes you four hours to pack oh for a two-day trip. Gosh. And to round out this intro, this film was brought to you by... Say. Mama. <laughs> Seriously though, this film was brought to you by Jackery. Thank you Jackery for making this trip happen. And we are going to show you the wonderful things you can do with a Jackery when you're taking a little slightly halfway off-grid trip to the mountains. We're gonna cook some food. We're gonna make a projector. Movie night. What else are we gonna do with the Jackery, babe? We're gonna dance while charging on the Jackery. What are we doing walking around in the road? We're showing Let's hit it, man. Are we ready to go? What? I'm ready to go. Yeah. I said that like go two hours ago. Wow. 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 <laughs> Now, here's the boring part. We hop in the car and we drive for four hours. <laughs> Here we go. I'm Juby and this is Justin, and me on Sweet Nugget Azalea. We've been living in our self-converted school bus since 2018, and after a year and a half of building our home, we can finally hit the road. Join us for the ride as we continue our adventures in our big red pepper. Made it to your future home. Very exciting. It's a metal box. <laughs> we left our metal box to find another bar, a metal box. Because we love metal boxes. <laughs> Thanks. How many, how many fingers does it take? <laughs> Welcome to our new crib. Well, I guess we should go unload and uh, get comfortable. This is home for the next few days. Wow, look at that view. I know, isn't it amazing? This is actually crazy how much <laughs> stuff we have. Literally not even going to be here like 36 <laughs> hours. I don't think this is a minimalist trip at all. We no. did our best, but when you have a child, you know, you, you have to make yeah, do with having a little bit extra stuff. <laughs> Mama's gonna come help you. Yeah, it's really easy. Watch this. It's gonna be like magic. <laughs> 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 Who are we gonna listen to? Marley. Marley. They have a signal and they have a they have a record player. It's so exciting. Okay. You gonna play it there? Yeah. Yeah, well should we plug it and listen to music? Yeah. Side one. This way. Come here. Ready? You do it. All right. All right. <gasps> okay, you ready? Let's see if this works. It's one of those speakers are busted. At least it would work if you know it did work. Thanks to the Jackery. All right, so you guys are gonna start working on dinner. It's super dark and I have yet to use the bathroom, but I'm gonna use it. It's an outhouse, so it's outside. Uh. Azalea's ready for dinner, so I'm making her a burger. We brought a hot plate and we're using the jacket to heat up her food. We wanted to come up to the mountains to like live in an alternative style home. Test out how bad Oasis Jackery really is because we've been off the grid in our bus in Red Pepper and we've traveled with the Jackery and we've recharged it from the sun and all that good stuff but we never like solely relied 
on the Jackery. So this whole weekend is going to be a really good test to see like what kind of energy draw we can get from the sun to charge it up as well as what kind of usage we can get out of it. I just wanted to clarify, this is not an off-grid cabin, but we thought it'd be a really fun way to incorporate Jackery and just figure out how many different ways throughout this weekend when we're in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere, can we end up using it. That's good. Whoa. That's, yeah, that's a little deep. Definitely not hot enough. <laughs> Feels warm for sure. It's a veggie burger, and we were supposed to have a cookout at the farm the other day. That ended up not happening, so we decided to bring the bur burger patties with us to the cabin. Get it? Go, Zay. Do you cook it? Oh, yeah. Go, Zay. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Come on, burger. <laughs> so not only are we serious movie geeks, Bob's bought a movie. We've been trying to figure out what like our yearly traditions are gonna be for Azalea and what better way to celebrate the holiday season than to watch the movie Elf. I think the game plan is gonna be hang the sheet from this rail from the garage door. It's looking like we dropped a bunch, but right now we're charging up the lantern. <laughs> Setup is looking like projector to the computer to the jackery. Here it comes, eh? Oh, hello. You're, uh, you're probably here about the, uh, the story. It wasn't any different. Uh, you're gonna know more the plot. I mean, parents could <laughs> what are you? Lollipop! <laughs> 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 OMG! The speaker's about to die. This music. Or our YouTube music, because we don't have signal here to play Spotify. <laughs> So it's rainy today and foggy. It's actually beautiful, but it kind of puts a damper on hikes and outdoor campfires. And so. Mama, get down. I'm coming. I'm and gonna so get dressed. We have a child bouncing off the walls inside of <laughs> my tiny home, and we just got coffee, so I think we'll be able to make it. Hopefully. Thank you for my coffee. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Put the blue one. Yeah! Okay, Mama's turn. Oh! Get to skip a turn. We picked up Uno last night. Oh, this is quite a pompous game of Uno. Put a blue one. Blue one. Blue one. Chibi's giving Azalea yeah. directions on how to play. I think she's playing her. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Here, here, Azalea. Put your magic cord down. Well, we figured we would show you the deck. The outhouse is right here, and they just use like a porta potty style toilet. They had a compost toilet, but I think they were having a hard time 
telling people how to uh, use it properly. This is like a solar shower. Amazing to be showering outside. Fire pit behind us, which we were hoping to use this morning, but hopefully we can use it tonight. All right, team. Light him up. Given we don't have much sun today to take advantage of, it's been super <laughs> gloomy. So whenever you have sun out, we've got these two solar panels. Both of them are 100 watt. And using both of them is great because it can cut down on, on your charging time. These solar panels have these little bags on them. And in those bags are the cords that you use to charge up. They also have these little legs. So we got this little Y connector. So it allows you to plug in two solar panels. This spot is gonna be where you plug in to the actual Jackery. Yeah. All right, let's push it in. Nice. Let me get some. Yeah. This is one of the older solar panels. So this one, you've actually got your plug in right here. Just like that. Oh, you wanna grab that cord? We'll plug it in right here. Push, 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 push. Nice work, good job, Zay. Solar charging on a- Snowy day. Over <laughs> overcast snowy day. What? Let's see how many no. watts you got. Zero. These solar panels are fold up in half and they're easy to yeah. pack up and take with you on the go. The great thing about this Jackery too is the fact that it's got a ton of different plug-in options. So you've got your 12 volt car charger here. All of this is 12 volt DC, so you've got four different USB plug-ins here. Oh, are you videoing me? What should I say? House. House, I'm showing him the house? Yeah. Can you say Jackery? <laughs> Three different AC plugins as well. So this is where your input's going to go. A lot of times we'll use two to three of these when we're charging our phone, our GoPro, GoPro um, the camera, the uh, GoPro. gun controller. GoPro. Um, so. Yeah, and it totally worked really well to cook food, but obviously if you have a propane burner, I would say that's probably way better and more ideal so that you're not draining all the juice that the Jackery can store. It was the first time that we were using it to cook food on an electric cooker, and you would definitely need to recharge after one cooking session. So if you're planning on having this as like a way to cook food and produce heat, then it would probably last you about 30 to 40 minutes, and then you would need to recharge either by plugging it into your core using the solar panels or using some sort of an outlet to reduce it we tried using our blender it spiked and the used too much makes. power but I mean overall I think it's got 1001 watt hours of energy it's, it's a powerhouse and it's about 25 pounds it's no. relatively light compared to other brands that are that size battery when you get your jacker they give you a variety of different plugs that you can use one is for if you're trying to charge it with a 12 volt cigarette lighter charger. So this allows you to charge it in your car. This block allows you to charge it from just a regular wall outlet. Jackery. Dope. All right, folks. We are about to head off into town. And Pizza. Get... Pizza. <laughs> we have to go into town. We got to get some signal and build our itinerary for the day. We also got to check to see when this rain's going to clear up. Pizza. Pizza. Are you ready? Is Peppa Pig coming? Yeah. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So I guess they keep like cleaning supplies in this storage unit, and uh, it's the back end of it. Oh, they're like behind us. I guess they've got some more Airbnb cabins that they rent out as well. Makes my heart and soul warm and happy and fuzzy inside. Someone fell asleep. I think we're gonna take this yum pizza home and chill for the rest of the afternoon. Asheville has been like um, pretty much dead and like cold and gloomy outside, so uh, we've been trying to find things to do inside, but that's also kind of tough with COVID. So we're gonna go home, eat pizza, and have movie night.
What you got there? Glue gun. So we saw this thing at Michael's and it cost like 25 bucks and I was like, we have sticks on form and I have a glue gun and we have a Christmas tree. The only thing that we didn't have was, where's those red bubbles? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was like $1.99 and we're gonna make like a, a Christmas ornament for the bus. What is this shape? Um, it's a, it's a store. <laughs> so we're gonna wait till the glue gets hot, Azalea. The Jackery is gonna make our glue gun work. Because we have power from the sun that is non-existent. So earlier today we took a little jaunt into town. You wanna come into the video? And we just popped into a few places downtown that were um, some cool shops. And we found this place where you could paint. <laughs> we found this really cool kind of paint your pottery and they'll uh, fire it for you and send it to you back home. She did a stellar, beautiful job. <gasps> Big red eyes. Nice and slow. Whoa. <laughs> There was this really great leather shop, handmade leather goods from sandals to belts, but most of it was a little bit out of my price range for what I'd like to pay, but I did find these two buckets where they had things for like 10 bucks. I found this really cool metal bracelet and a new belt buckle, which I'm very excited about. It's the beauty of thrifting and shopping on the cheap. Then we got some really delicious pizza from 828. Family Pizzeria. Family Pizzeria yeah. was delicious. Pizza. Super cold, still raining. It's really been limited what we could do, but to be honest with you, it's nice just holding up here and just kind of relaxing, doing arts and crafts project, playing cards, and chilling. We've continued to use the Jackery for a wide variety of things that we've been using up here. We did plug it in to charge it up overnight, but otherwise, for the rest of the afternoon, we're gonna relax, continue just to hang around and find some stuff to keep us occupied today. Wow. It's not, it's not finished, I ran out of glue, but do you like it? Hold it up high. It's gonna go on the bus. Wow. That is so cool. Does it look like a starfish it, or, or a star? Yeah, it's definitely a star fish. Like, but it's so good. Is that right? It looks like a spider web. Yeah. <laughs> a spider web, I love it. Here, I'm going to put it here. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. But it looks good. Red pepper's going to look festive. Woo! Yay! Come on. Did you help say? Um, yep. Yeah. We decided to leave the house. Going to the top of the hill. <laughs> I think we were all getting a bit stir crazy as Elia was getting wild and throwing the Uno cords everywhere. <laughs> so now we're just hiking. Come on. Fuzzy jacket? No. <laughs> it is. It's crazy that we're literally staying in a random shipping container. So far the experience has been quite fun actually. The shipping container feels smaller than the bus for sure. We measured it yesterday. Nine foot by like probably 24 foot. It certainly makes the bus feel luxurious yeah. in terms of space and being able to have different sections of the home. Go Z, go! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Let's get make a fire, yeah? Fire. Yeah. 
let's cross our fingers this works. We left the firewood out in the rain last night. <laughs> So yeah. we have wet wood yeah. and then we forgot to bring his torch so we only have my lighter and some matches. I think I'm gonna go inside and make a cup of tea to have by the fire. Pops, you need anything? Say you need anything? <clears throat> okay. So this jackery is dropping pretty quick on its juice whilst heating this up and I think we want to try and cook dinner tonight so I'm going to cut it. Apple! Are you eating an apple? Yeah! Are you going to have tea with me? No. Bye, bye. Pops with a good old one. Hey -oh. When in doubt, oak leaf. Just not kidding. bad actually. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Box one. Usually a safe bet. That's affordable. This one. Yeah, you did that one? Yeah. It's so pretty. Thank um, you. You want a video, Pops? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Mama just wanted to see if anyone eats their romaine like this. No. <laughs> Zadia's having some leftover green smoothie for dinner. Pops, thank you. Oh, hey. Hey. That's good. That's hey, are you the videographer today, yeah. Zay? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Do you want me to take it? It's just. Um, Hello. I guess I Hello, Azalea. Year left. It's in there. And a veggie burger. Pickles. A little burger. Sun is rising. It's gonna be so beautiful. Good morning, folks. It's our final day with the video entries, and uh, I'm about to make a beast of a breakfast because we are going on a family hike before heading out of town and back into the flatlands and swampiness of our home, where the bus is parked. Omelets and hash browns and coffee, apple juice. Okay, we have to look for the number 17. Do you know where it is? Yeah. Woo! See the ribbons, wrapping, boxes, and bows. This old toy shop is full of those. So it's sort of a scrambled omelette with peppers, onion, and cheese, some grilled tomatoes, and then like a zucchini, potato hash brown, and avocado toast. Sauce. We had never stayed in a shipping container and I had always wanted to like experience one but I always felt like it was super industrial and not very cozy. I wish there was like more plants and maybe some more insulation like on the floor and on the walls. I love the garage doors, those are amazing. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> we'll put a link to the Airbnb in the description if you guys want to Try it out yourself. Gracias. Journey to the Horror Peeps. Don't complicate things. December 17th. All right, so should we go on a hike? Let's go on a hike. Let's go on a hike. Go on a hike. Ready? <laughs> the simple, clear answer for life situations can easily be found in the heart. Don't limit its wisdom to just one or two areas. Let it guide you through all of your life. Are you struggling with finances? Feeling overwhelmed by taxes? Not certain what to do to help someone you love? Do you have a problem with a friend? Has a business relationship gotten sticky? Maybe hopelessly adversarial? Are you at war with the person you love? problems with children, problems with parents, a landlord who just won't get the job done. All of these areas and more can be brought to your heart. Do you need to find a new hobby? Are you stuck on a project? Do you need an idea, some creative inspiration? Do you need a new place to live or a way to fix your current home? Take it all back to your heart. Calm your mind, let go, get quiet. You don't have to know the plan. Just put out the question, then listen to your inner voice. It will guide you through any maze you've been lost in. Don't complicate things to try and figure it all out. 
The answer is simple. Look in your heart. It's just a testament to how badass Jude's is. She's literally hiking up this trail straight up the mountain with like 30 pounds of dead weight on her. This is tagged as a moderate climb on all trails. child doesn't want to do something, bribe them with a cracker. <laughs> we go. had to really work to get her in this satchel on my back. <laughs> she wanted to climb down all on her own, which she's brave and she could probably do it, but we're going to go with the satchel today, play it safe. It's an intense climb. Say bye bye now. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> Is it? Oh man, what a weekend. It has been a weekend, that's for sure. It's not even the weekend, it's the week. What are we talking about? Well, yeah, that's right. What an adventure it's <laughs> what been. An adventure. We appreciate you guys coming on the adventure with us. Zay Zay, did you have fun? Yeah? <laughs> Space cadet. We've got a long road home. Um, we're going to chill it out, get some crackers. <laughs> Apple juice? Apple juice. It's been a lot of fun. It's been really awesome being able to try out a different type of alternative living style. And also, too, to wrap everything up, we just want to send a big thanks to Jackery for sponsoring this yep, video. Yep. And if you're interested in incorporating a Jackery into your situation or your next adventure, we're going to drop a link down below to their website and check out some of their products. And if something that fits well with you and your lifestyle, we say go for it. And with that, see you next time. Bye. Bye. You're gonna put bye your bye. hand on the lens? Yeah. Do it, Pops. Okay. Here we go. Here we come. Here we come. Ooh. Ooh. Get, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah. <sighs>